Like, you know what? Like, like to me, when people don't know their history, they dumb as fuck. Like, I don't know my history. I'm not dumb. I mean, but you willing, you willing to learn the history though? Like, you know, shit may aren't willing to learn history. Right? Dumb. Yeah. Like rappers, niggas be calling. Our generation of rappers, all oh, y'all old and y'all washed up and this and that and all that old shit. When they paved the way for a lot of these niggas. And not knowing, like, how dumb does that sound? Like, motherfucker, they was your age once too. <laughs> so if you're blessed to make it to see their age, you gonna be saying the same. Like, come on now, somebody gonna be saying the same shit about you. <laughs> dumb ass motherfucker. It is like, okay, like, like. Chains, gold chains and shit. They don't even know, like, that shit came from slavery. All they did was take the iron chains and turn them into jewelry. And niggas wear that shit proudly on their neck, not knowing they're still slaves. You know what I'm and be proud of it. I got my chain, nigga. I bought, I spent 250K. You spent 250K. To re- to realize to to see that you still a slave with a chain around your neck. And not only that, but you renting a house and renting your cars and getting oh, these like Airbnbs it. and shit. Yeah. But you'll go out and buy a motherfucking chain with a three sixty deal. With a, with a shirt tied up in the back that say throw that. Chain. <laughs> And that's exactly what they doing. They is with a shirt tied up in the back that say throw that dick. <laughs> <laughs> because with they, the arrow pointing down. <laughs> they be making these little niggas bend over for the yeah. chick. But it's not hard. It, that shit is not hard to believe because a nigga will kill you for less. If a nigga say you ain't never had nothing, you been in the streets all your life trying to hustle, and then you finally get that break and that record deal. And you get to the top, and the executive tell you, hey, I want to fuck you. In order for you to get this million before I let you sign this contract, I want to fuck you. That's how they talk to you. And they're going to be like, in shock. Man, I ain't with all that shit. Well, that money in your face. My nigga, you want this contract? I like you, and I want you. (laughs) And I'm gonna have you. And I'm gonna have (laughs) you. So, what you gonna do? Barbecue a meal, do? Nine out of ten niggas, whether y'all believe this shit or not, nine out of ten niggas is gonna bend over that disc. Cause they think ain't nobody they, gonna find out. Which ain't nobody gonna. Know. They gonna bend over that desk. They gonna have a uh, a camera, probably a few of them around there. So when the niggas get out of line, they don't yeah, they don't so do shit that up. they want them to do. Mm-hmm. That's why y'all see all these sex tapes. Y'all see niggas. Oh, that wasn't me. That was somebody that looked like me. Nah, nigga, that ass. was your ass. You, your ass. If they, if they, man, if motherfuckers were smart and knew how the game go, you know what I'm saying, but still choose to put themselves in that position, you know what I'm saying, to get that, quote unquote, fame and fortune and all that shit, you know, real one gonna be like, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying, show they take, shit. Yeah, nigga, I bent over that dish, okay. but I got a million dollars, but that's how they know that. Niggas will do anything for it. Like, you don't go, you don't see a lot of these, like, genome entertainment industry people, like, just really going through that shit. Some of them there to do it. They probably, majority of the genome race, they gay anyway. They like shit like that. They play booty games and all that shit. So that's normal to them, and they wouldn't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, I fucked John. So what? <laughs> Me and my wife loved it. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Niggas the ones always got to throw their rocks and hide their hands. You know what I'm saying? Because they're shame. But if any if 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 these little niggas had morals and values, all they had to do like right now, it's real easy to become famous and make some money. You got you got fame and fortune at the at the touch of your button on your phone. All you gotta do is say something, say something that the people like, or that's going they gonna gravitate to it. It's going to be one or two things. It's going to be some real or it's going to be some bullshit. Either one of them two categories, you win it. You win it. So, with that being said, the niggas still don't know, like, and back to, like, the history of the shit, niggas don't know, like, too short. J Prince, E Forty, all these people. Mac Dre. Mac Dre, they made money on their own before they even went to like major labels. And a lot of times they just went for the distribution deal because ain't no black owned distribution companies. And when they did try to do that, they told down everybody they tried to do it. You don't have one distribu- black distribution company in the world. Because they know. They know if niggas do that, it's over with for the music industry. They they That's going to cut the majority of the pie they got. The 90% of the pie they got. That shit going to cut down probably to about 40%. Because you still going to have some dumb niggas go sign with them. They gonna come out with something more just to be famous, just to say, oh, I did a song with Chris Brown, or I did, see, my uncle did the same thing, right? But the difference between him and these niggas, he was in the music business for like 40 years. The difference between him and he, these niggas, he had genuine natural love for music. So he didn't care about the fame, and he really didn't care about the money, so he always, like, played in the background, and he was the baddest bass player on the planet. Everybody say that. So, at the end, now, right before he died, he he was trying to, you know, get his royalties from all the shit that he did with Gab Band and different groups and shit that stole his music. But these niggas, they in for the fame and the fortune. Like, a lot of them can't rap. <clears throat> but they in it because they getting all the attention from the world that they wouldn't get at home. All the wrong attention. They sit on her with their five million tattoos. With the gold and the jewelry. They knew, with they knew uh, whole clothes on, cause that's all they use. The old, old, and and the, and the genome sitting back looking at them. I mean, but at the same time, like you said, the veil's been lifted, so everything is being exposed now. So at this point, it's like a choice, motherfuckers is choosing. They know what's, what what they getting into, and they still choosing to be in the shit. So that's on them. You know what I'm saying? That's on their ass, cause they they know. They know what's going on. They know what they up against and what's about to happen and how long they got in. Yeah, cause and... uh, cause uh, they, they, they little bitch ass uh, will sit, sign the contract two days later. They did. They see they don't care about whether you sell an album. You ain't gotta sell two albums, cause you know what. They got that $10 million insurance on your head. So, they be encouraging these little niggas to be into it, die. Mm-hmm. So, they ain't got to do it. And. Gotta save them the trouble of doing it themselves. And they play collection agency off these niggas. And they families don't get shit. This is the only the insurance company for the record, for the record company. 
they gets nothing. So if you personally don't have insurance on one of these rap niggas, you're not getting shit. Because they they done became property of whatever record company that is. That's why a lot of times they can't, a lot of rappers have to change their name in order to make money or do sh- shit under another corporation. Because if you look on the front of your social security card, everything is in caps. That means you own by a corporation. We are all owned by a corporation. I don't own by shit. Nobody own me. Shit. Well, the British own everything. So, with that being said, if you take your social security card and flip it over and you see them red numbers on the back, it's going to be a letter in the front. See, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's going to be a letter you in the said front. said that the British own. They do. Okay, so who put them in charge? That's what I want to know. Who put these motherfuckers that, in charge of this shit? That I don't know. Them hoes may have probably made their uh, made their own self the damn owners, but they run ninety percent of the world. So with that being said, yeah, that's real shit. I want to know who uh, who said these motherfuckers. Who gave who gave them the, the the you in charge title of the fucking world type shit? Man, fuck you. So own me. Shit, I don't give a fuck. I mean, spiritually, I mean, uh, no, I mean, you don't have, you had a right. Realistically, shit, ain't no realistically, none of that shit, ain't, y'all motherfuckers. Realistically, yeah. you don't, I mean, like, as far as them owning you like a slave, they, I mean, they do. Like, no, I mean, if you can pull up, if you can go to Fidelity.com and pull up your, uh, this is what I was saying, on the back of your card is numbers. And it's one letter. That one letter is the bank, the Federal Reserve Bank that owns you, pretty much. From birth to death. Like, you can go to Fidelity.com. You put in that that, um, that alphabet. First, go put in that alphabet at the Federal Reserve. It's going to tell you, well, your Federal Reserve is the Federal Reserve of Atlanta or whatever state it is. Or city. And. You go to Fidelity.com. And you put in. I think your stock number. And your birth certificate. You can find out how much you are worth. It used to be. They done blocked that shit. Now you got to go through loopholes and shit to find out. But back in 2011. So I found you know how much you worth and where your money at. You can't get it. Exactly. So it's fucking stupid. You can't get it. Bullshit. I need to go back to my planet. That's where I need to go to. Fuck Earth. <laughs> Fuck Earth. I'm so fucking serious. Fuck Earth. I'm not even from here. Ain't none of us from here. Well, I don't know why Especially. the fuck I'm here. And I want to go back to my planet. Especially if you're a melanite. You're definitely not Fuck from Earth. Earth. Motherfucker, when they start opening up applications for people to go to the Mars, I bet you I'll be the first one. Get the fuck out of here. Be here on Earth no more dealing with this shit. I mean, you, I mean, it's like, it's, like when people say shit like that, they don't want to believe it. Like, oh, they don't want to believe I'll, what? They don't want to believe that we not from here. Like, oh. Oh, what, what the fuck you mean? Motherfucker, your DNA is unknown. Black people DNA, I'm going to say it one more time, is unknown. We the only fucking race of people that cannot be identified. So what the fuck does that mean? That means we are not, not from planet here, Earth. And I want to go home. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> ASAP. We are not from here. Be me up, Scotty. All the elements that we have, nobody else has. Unless they've been grafted into our DNA. Meaning that we done had babies with these motherfuckers who put it in layman's terms. That's it. And that's why you see all these genomes with adopting all these melanite kids and having, having babies and marrying race. niggas well, and I shit. No with, that's the reason. Mix, you know, but. That's the reason. So, it's like, 
I, I just said a while ago, and like she just said, ain't nothing hidden no more. All the knowledge is right here in everybody's face. If you still stuck in 1965, talking about Jesus is the way and, and, and my preacher right, you keep your ass over there. And we gonna stay over here. I don't wanna go to no preacher. I wanna go to a teacher. You know what I'm saying? Cause all he gonna do is fuck your mama <laughs> and get up there and preach spells and rituals. Cause that's all that's in the Bible. All that shit y'all talking about witchcraft is in your Bible. They had more spells and witchcrafts in the Bible than any book in the world. And who and the motherfucking uh porno, pornographic industry own the rights to the Bible. What the fuck do that tell y'all? Because I'm tired of talking. How, what the fuck do that tell y'all? To these motherfucking chicks. Who exactly. Them the right? Who exactly. put these people in charge is what I want to know. Ain't nothing that holy that's supposed to be that holy going to be owned by no fucking and sucking. Yeah, so, with that being said, if y'all don't see what the fuck going on, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. Because you got the ancestors. They speaking through so many people. Passing these messages. Message, message, message. All you hear is. What's that movie baby? They say message. Don't be a menace to society. Message. No baby. Don't be a menace to South Central. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't be. Yeah. That shit. (laughs) What I'm saying is. Message. These people ain't. They. Y'all thinking everybody crazy and shit. These people not crazy. These messages are coming through people. They telling y'all. They send them through me. I know they send them through a whole bunch of people. But y'all just sit up and get entertained by it. Y'all don't live y'all life by it. And everything that's been coming through, everybody that the ancestors are sending the message to is co- like facts. Truth is just right there in y'all face. I don't know what else to say. People tell y'all, y'all gods, and y'all over here acting like heathens. Niggas kill more niggas than any race in the world. Police ain't got shit on niggas. A nigga hurry up and keep step on the nigga's shoe and find out. He just bought some J's, paid $200 for a go step on his shoe. Because we value material shit more than anything. Just because you ain't never had nothing don't mean you got to be nothing. All that shit you can get over again. If you if it's material shit, you can touch it, you can get it again. Ain't no reason to be killing nobody over no nothing. Not even no money. You shouldn't have gave it to them if they owe you. If you couldn't afford it, you shouldn't have gave it to them. Everybody talking, but ain't nobody doing. Everybody's talking, ain't nobody doing. You got a few people that's doing. I don't know, but I want to go back to my parents. Don't nobody want to be on earth. It's just like, don't nobody want to go stay with their daddy. <laughs> Y'all ain't want to stay with mama. This is not our home. That's why we don't fit in, and that's why 
every other race hate us. Name one race that don't hate black people. Don't worry. I'll wait. That ought to tell y'all something. 